Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, we're going to look at basic surfaces. Now, the most basic command to make a surface is to type plane. P-L-A-N-E. And you'll notice that there's a few options here. And I'll go through a couple of them. But, basically, the first thing we can do is click and click. Now, if you have it set to shaded, you'll notice that we've created our first piece of geometry uh, that's a little bit like the box we produced earlier. You'll also notice these two lines on it. These two lines are called isocurves. And if I click on the object, it has an option here called isocurve density, which I can increase the number of isocurves. So that's it with three. Or I could click visible off and it'll remove all of them. For now, I'm just going to keep at a density of one. Now, this is a particular instance of a surface. I can turn its points on, like I can do with a curve or a polyline. Points on. See? And I can move these points up and down, like I can on a line. I can do the same thing with the surface. What's interesting about a surface is that it actually has two directions instead of the one that a curve or a line has. I can only travel along it in one direction from the start to the end. But if we consider this point here, the start of the surface, then I can go along this line or this line to traverse the whole thing. So a surface actually has two directions. Now, I can use a command on a curve called rebuild and that allows me to add points to the curve and change its degree. So I could change this to degree 1 and it will become a polyline. I could rebuild it again and change it to degree 3 and it will become a degree 3 curve. So I can do the same thing with the original polyline as well to make it a curve as well. If I do the same thing with the surface, rebuild you notice we get a slightly different dialog box in which it has two directions, a U and a V, and three and three. So it's asking for 10 points in the U direction, 10 points in the V direction, and to be degree three on both. And if I press OK, and then turn its points on again, I can select multiple points on the surface, and I can move them vertically, and now rather than being a straight, flat kind of object, it's now getting all curvy. Move vertical. This is a fairly basic transformation in Rhino, and I can escape out of the points on, but this is a surface. So a surface is like a two-dimensional curve. It can be curvy in one direction and not the other. So if I rebuilt this again and chose it to be degree one in the V direction, you'll notice that in one of the directions it's curvy and then in the other direction it's actually quite straight. So a surface is the most basic kind of uh, geometry that deals with the idea of faces in Rhino. So when you're modeling whatever your object is for uh, comms, um, you will notice that you know the majority of your model will be made up of surfaces in the end. And those surfaces may be joined or unjoined, which we'll get into in the next video. But this is the most basic kind of geometry that you're going to be using in Rhino. And you'll be using curves to make surfaces to um, you know, make objects. And then we'll translate those back into lines to produce drawings. Um, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.